Though the number of diversions has gone up and our scheduled flights have gone down, the numbers are still relatively low. In 2019, before COVID hit and airlines were operating as normal, 2.5% of flights were diverted. Last year, 3.76% of our flights were diverted. We got diverted to Malaga and I think our plane took off in Malaga about 2 in the morning. And then on the way back, I got diverted again, this time thanks to crosswinds, which, you know, is no one's fault really. Some things are inevitable like crosswinds, but things like the tele telecommunication systems or things to do with, with the control tower, that can be avoided, I suppose. I think there's something wrong with the MOD. Some, somebody is not getting their act together. It's uh, hard for people to make plans without you know, knowing it's not going to be cancelled. Like My sister has to go to uni as well, so that was a big downfall for her. The reliability of the planes is horrendous. Mm -hmm. Every time there's a bit of wind, a crosswind, this and that, they have to go to Malaga, come on. I think they should really like employ more people or something like that because at the end of the day, what people are getting affected are the tourists and, and the locals who, who fly. The government says it's always disappointed to see diversions and passengers inconvenienced and that non-weather reasons for diversions are a minuscule proportion of the total. It says diversionary procedures are well planned and executed. Three flight diversions last year were due to staff issues at the air traffic control tower. GBC asked Nats, the contractor responsible for the tower, when it would be up to a full complement of staff. It told GBC the recruitment and training process is ongoing. For its part, the MOD says it's in constant dialogue with the contract owner and NATS to ensure adequate numbers of staff are recruited. Separately, the festive period saw some diversions due to a communications issue. The MOD told GBC that the airfield closed for 29 hours during the festive period because of the issue and says additional backup systems have now been installed to stop this from reoccurring. The MOD apologizes to all those affected. The summer of 2022 also saw go slow action from Jibair staff, which resulted in delays. During the pandemic, there were fewer flights and, of course, fewer diversions. In 2021, 20 flights were diverted and in 2020, there were 13. So although it might feel like there are more diversions and although there are some more diversions, we might also have a skewed sense of what a normal number of these are after travelling far less during COVID. And has this changed whether locals will opt for Gibraltar Airport when travelling? I would still fly from Gibraltar because it's more convenient for myself. Um... What I usually do, I would do an overstay anyways, regardless on, in London. Family want to come over from the UK and, and you know, I've got to the point that I sometimes don't feel confident to book a flight into Gibraltar. It might just be as easy to travel to Malaga and, and use a, you know, a different airline. And I don't want to do that. This is, this is my home. If I can get the flight from here, I can get the flight from here. If not, I go to Malaga, but it's always easier to come home and not have to travel from Malaga to here. When I flew to the UK, I did choose Malaga as my first choice, just because apart from, like she said, all the crosswinds, it's just it's not reliable. So for me, my next, um, my next holiday will probably be through Malaga airport. No one likes it when their holiday plans get disrupted. And although Malaga is an option, there's no place like home. Do take care when you open the lockers, items may have moved during the flight.